Okay, so I've got two um, Collada files here that I've created from my Fusion files, um, and I'm going to import these into my Sweet Home model. So if I go here, this is my Sweet Home model. I've got my working area. Um, I want to put my container in roughly here. I've already put a few bits of furniture in there that I've um, downloaded from other websites. You can see this bottom image down here. Um, the kind of site looks there. I've got some toilets in and things, but I want to put my container cafe over here where these people are. So what I need to do is I need to import into my library and then I need to position it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import. So I'm going to come furniture and I'm going to import furniture and I'm going to choose my model and I'm going to go into my fusion files and there's my container without a roof so I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to click open now um, hit continue but on this view now you need to make sure it's positioned the right way round a lot of models come out the right way round but mine for some reason hasn't come out the right way round so I need to manipulate the views here until it looks correct to me so when I see my um, that's not my front view obviously that's my side view so I want to move that around until I get things correct. So that perspective wise is correct. That um, view is OK. And that is a side view. So that I can continue with that now. Next thing it's going to ask me a few things. Where do I want to put it? So I want to add it to my catalogue. And I'm going to put it into a section called exterior, which is already set up. So it's not such a big area, so I'm going to put it in there because it's an outside thing, it's an exterior thing. And I'm going to put my name in there to show that I'm the one who created it. Now the other thing that it's got wrong is the sizes here. So you can see it's put the decimal place in the wrong uh, position. So it should be 6.5 meters, not 651 meters. So if you don't change this, when you put your container in, it's going to be huge. So I'm just going to come into here, move my decimal place, make sure I put a full stop, not a comma and delete that one so it's adjusted the rest so now the width sounds about right six meters by three meters by 2.65 meters high that all sounds correct shouldn't need to change anything else elevation means where is it so zero is on the floor which is where I want it to be uh, at the moment I'm, I could change the color of it so if I want to make my um, my container a different color I could change it but I can do that later anyway so I do want it to be movable it's not a door or window or a staircase so I don't tick any of those things I do want the proportions kept correctly so I hit continue there's my little um, preview and I hit finish so now not only is it put it into my exterior so if I go into exterior I can find it in here and I can search it's called container there it is, container with no roof, but it's already put a copy in for me. So I'm just going to drag that, and I'm going to position it roughly where I want it, which is somewhere. Um, let's have a little look. I might have to zoom in here to see a bit more closely. I know that I've got a couple of rubbish bins. I want it something like that to suit mine. Now doesn't matter for the moment but I can see if I look at the, in the bottom view down here now that's where it is and it's pretty much in the right position I've got some things inside there that I can move around uh, later on um, but for the moment that's fine I'm going to leave that as it is I'm just going to do exactly the same thing now for the roof so I'm going to bring in the roof so same thing furniture import a piece of furniture so it's not a library now it's just a single piece I'm going to choose my model again this time I'm going to go for the one which is the roof and open that one I'm going to continue and I want to make sure I've got the right view so I haven't at the moment so that looks more like it should look that's the top view and so on hit continue um, same thing I'm going to put it into my exterior catalog so I can find it more easily I'm going to say that I'm the creator because I am um, the width on this one is obviously wrong as well, so that should be 5.98, not 598 meters, which is way too big. So that's adjusted the rest for me. Keep proportions, want it movable, I'm not going to worry about color at the moment, and I'm going to hit continue. And there's my preview and finish, and now it's in there. So it's brought it in for me as well, so I can actually position that, and that would go directly on top of my container, because that's the roof of it. Why do I do that? Well, if I keep it separate, two separate objects, I can actually make one of them invisible or visible. So over here, um, you can't quite see it, but I've got container and I've got the container roof. 
if I expanded this out I would be able to see the name fully but that's my roof if I click and take the tick off it it becomes invisible if I actually want to edit any of those so if I want to change my roof color for instance what I could do is I've double clicked here I could double click over here but I've double clicked in my list view and I'm going to go to color and I'll just make that red so we can see it more easily and say OK. So there's my red roof. You can see now in the underneath down here the same thing is showing the roof as red. So I can change the color of the either of the containers and you'll notice on the example one that I did I put a, a, a poster on here and I actually made um, my own name for the cafe here. You say beyond this person says Morgan's Cafe. If I can move that for you a little bit so you can see if I pan it around you can see not that brilliantly but you can see that there's a, a title up here which I put on as a poster and just put my own Photoshop version in have a look at the renders you'll see those better so back up here if I don't want this roof to be visible in terms of working with it I can take that tick off that will allow me later on when I move things around like my person I put them in here now interestingly you can see the person looks like they're stood on top of my container because it's still even though the roof is hollow it still thinks that's part of the object so what I would do is I would double click my person and I would just change their elevation to zero so if they're zero they're at ground level so you can see that person now is inside the view over here okay I'm not going to zoom in anymore and show you any more detail of it you can do that yourself but that's essentially what you need to do once you've created your Collada files in Fusion or something similar you import them as furniture into your Sweet Home model it's always good to store them in a particular folder where you can find them more easily you drag them out you can edit them by double clicking on them in the um, in this view or over here in the list view so if I wanted to make my container itself a different color I could come here I could change this I could make my container a kind of like blue color if I chose to and I can do that I can even modify it and make it a material color um, which is more fun but there we go that's a horrible yellow uh, sorry bright blue container now but we can alter any of that ourselves we position it where we want to and we make sure that any items going inside the container get set to zero elevation okay good luck with that